The new era of Taliban rule in Afghanistan was marked by the departure of foreign troops, bloody attacks on civilians by Islamic State, and now an economic crisis. The country has a sinking currency and rising inflation. More than a third of the population lives on less than $2 a day. Banks, which closed as soon as the Taliban took Kabul, have now been ordered to reopen. But that means hours of queuing thanks to strict weekly limits on cash withdrawals. Many offices and shops are still shut and some salaries have been unpaid for weeks, meaning even the relatively well-off are struggling to put food on the table. This man is a market vendor. Two weeks ago the market was good and people were buying, but now the situation's not good and no one's buying, and people's money's stuck in the banks and no one has money to buy anything. This market in Kabul has been flooded with people desperate to sell their goods. Remittances from abroad have also been cut off, so many families are trying to sell jewellery or household goods, even if they have to accept a fraction of their value. Prices for vegetables were up to 50% higher, according to vendors, while petrol prices were up by 75%. Taliban officials have said the problems will ease once a new government is in place, but the structural problems run deep. The country has no significant exports to generate revenue, and aid, which accounted for more than 40% of economic output, has abruptly disappeared.